Guys, it's Friday at the sorority house. That means we're doing brunch. On the menu today, chicken fried steak. This one, I think, is going to require a chef coat. So we're going to get all done up. The coat is on. It's time to start cooking. Guys, we're going to get some potatoes started. I'm doing some home fries today. So your classic uh, red potatoes, we're going to boil them. Then we're going to finish them on the flat top. They're going to get nice and crispy. We'll cook them with some peppers and some onions. So the first thing I'm going to do is rinse them off really good, and fill it with water, and we're going to let those boil. Now let's do our chicken fried steaks. I'm going to start with a couple of pans. One's going to get the flour. Now I'm putting a lot in there because we're going to double dip these things today, guys. A little bit of salt, a little black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. That's it. You don't need 11 herbs and spices. Just those five right there, that's going to be perfect. And I got buttermilk going in the other side. Once again, we want a lot because we're double dipping, guys. A little bit of salt, pepper. We're good to go. Whisk that up. Guys, let's make some chicken fried steak. I got my pan out for afterwards. We're going to start dipping. Remember when you do this, I got my wet hand here. That goes over, drops it into the dry, then we use our dry hand. Cover that with flour. We can use the palm of our hand and really just kind of press it in there really good. We want it to adhere to that meat, okay? Give it a good shake, back into the wet. We switch hands again. Wet hand picks it up, drops it in the dry. Get back to that dry hand. When I went to school, we called this the Miyagi method. It was the wax on, wax off method. I don't know what one has to do with the other, but that's what our, our chef instructor called this. Don't forget to use the Miyagi method when you're breading things. Yes, chef. There we go. Chicken fried steaks. Those are good to go. Guys, I love my chicken fried steak, and I, I make a pretty good one here. And double dipping is key. Plus, you got to have that buttermilk. Now, let's make some gravy. I got country sausage here. It's going into a hot pan. We're going to let that start browning. Get a nice little crust on it. It's okay if it kind of adheres to the bottom of the pan a little bit. We want those flavors. So guys, the potatoes are done boiling. Those go down on the griddle. Make a little room in the center for my peppers and onions. I got some red and green, a little purple onion, salt and pepper. A little bit of garlic powder. And guys, we're going to finish this with a little bit of paprika. We're going to let these go over a medium heat. I'm using an avocado oil. I'm not going to add any butter to this. I want to keep these dairy free. They're going to fry up nice. They got a lot of great seasoning on there. They're going to be really flavorful. We'll just let those go for a little bit and get back to that gravy. We're gonna add a little bit of butter in there. Sausage is done. I'm gonna scrape all those little bits off the bottom of the pan. We're gonna let that butter melt, and then we're gonna add in our flour. We're making a roux, guys. This is how we make our country gravy. Flour goes in. Just eyeball what you think is enough, because remember, you can always add a little more or a little less of the milk till you get it right. Milk goes in. Just whisk that around. It's going to start thickening up. Don't put all your milk at once. Let that get kind of thick. We're going to want to go ahead and add some more milk. Little bits at a time. Stir it up some more. You'll know when it's just right. That's perfect. Let's final season it. A little bit of pepper, salt. And you got to have a few dashes of Tabasco in there. So that little bite's going to be perfect. Give that a stir. We're gonna just let this simmer for just a couple of minutes. Let all these final flavors just come together. As for our potatoes, one final layer of salt. I got some fresh chopped parsley. A little bit of that goes on there. That's good, we'll give that a stir. These potatoes look great, guys. Check it out. The potatoes are ready. And I think, guys, the gravy is ready. That means there's only one more thing to do. Let's cook a chicken fried steak. Goes into my hot oil, 350 degrees, till it's nice and crunchy crispy. Look at that. That took about five or six minutes. Get my plate, chicken fried steak. It's gonna go right down there first. 
I'm going to go ahead and grab a big handful of those potatoes. Those go down. Guys, I got a couple of over medium eggs. We're going to throw on some fruit. I've got some strawberries, some blackberries, and some raspberries. I'm going to give them their own little spot over there on the plate, make it look pretty. Hit that thing with some steaming hot gravy. Guys, look at that, man. Just get in there and enjoy chicken fried steak, homemade gravy, home fries, and fresh fruit. Man, this was just absolutely perfect. I'm only cooking for 10 girls today. It's spring break now, and this is Friday. Most of the girls have left the house already. Um, but, man, what a way to head out for the uh, week. Hope everybody's real safe. What a treat. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone.